What is a mole? And it's not the furry brown creature. A mole is a counting unit. Another definition of mole is the number of atoms of carbon-12 in exactly 12 grams. The only acceptable abbreviation for mole is M-O-L, not M. M stands for meters or mass. What is a counting unit? You use a counting unit every time you buy donuts. A dozen is a counting unit. Instead of counting each individual donut, you refer to the group as multiples of 12. Dozen always refers to multiples of 12. Why don't we use dozens to count molecules? Atoms and molecules are very tiny, so tiny that there is an extremely large number of molecules in even a very small sample of water. Counting them by dozens would result in huge numbers that are difficult to work with. The counting unit used for such tiny particles is called the mole. If a dozen refers to 12, how many does a mole refer to? 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. This is an incredibly huge number that our minds probably can't even understand. However, counting very tiny things in a very large group allows us to work with normal sized numbers. How is the mole used when determining relationships between things? If you know how many of the overall group that you have, and you know how many individual components are in each group, you can infer the number of implied components. For example, if you have one dozen packages with one fork and one spoon, then you know you have one dozen forks and one dozen spoons. If you have one mole of molecules, and each molecule has one carbon and one oxygen atom, then you know you have one mole of carbon atoms and one mole of oxygen atoms. One mole of molecules with two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom each leaves you with two moles of hydrogen atoms and one mole of oxygen atoms. This works in chemical formula notation as well. Two moles of CaBr2 leaves you with two moles of Ca and four moles of Br. What is molar mass? The molar mass is the mass of one mole of an atom or molecule. There are several terms that refer to this idea. Molecular weight, molecular mass, formula weight, and formula mass. The average atomic mass found on the periodic table is the mass in grams for one mole of that atom. Since it's the mass for one mole, the unit is grams per mole. Several element atomic masses are shown here. The molecular mass for a molecule is the sum of the molar masses for all the atoms. If you add all the pieces together, you'll get the mass of the whole molecule. In order to find molar mass, determine the number of each type of atom. Find the molar mass of each atom on the periodic table. Multiply the number of atoms times the molar mass for each atom. Find the sum of all the masses. For example, find the molar mass for CaBr2. There's one calcium atom and two bromine atoms. Calcium has a mass of 40.08 grams per mole, 
as found on the periodic table. The mass for bromine is 79.91. The number of atoms is multiplied by the mass for each atom. And finally, these are added together to find the total mass of the molecule. One mole of CaBr2 molecules would have a mass of 199.90 grams. When adding the number of atoms for a molecule with parentheses, don't forget to distribute the outside subscript to each of the inside atoms. For example, strontium nitrate. There is one strontium atom. There are two nitrogen atoms. And there are six oxygen atoms. The mass of each is found from the periodic table. The sum of all the parts is the sum of the mass of the entire molecule. How are mole conversions completed? Several equalities are used when converting with moles. Avogadro's number is used when converting between moles and particles. The ratio of individual components to the overall molecule can be used. And the molar mass is used to convert between moles and grams. The kudos method can be applied to these problems as well. Identify the known. Identify the unknown. Write your definitions. Determine the output. And substantiate your answer. For example, 1.25 moles of water is the same as how many molecules of water? Your known information. Identify your unknown information. Determine what definitions are necessary. Find the output and substantiate. Check for reasonableness, correct units, and correct number of significant figures. Sometimes two steps are needed in a conversion. For example, how many atoms of hydrogen are in 1.25 moles of water? The given information is 1.25 moles water. The desired information, the unknown, is atoms of hydrogen. The first equivalent, 1 mole equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. But a second equivalent is needed in order to get to hydrogen atoms. Arrange the first equivalent to cancel moles. Arrange the second equivalent to cancel molecules water. Multiply the numbers across the top and divide the numbers on the bottom. 1.51 times 10 to the 24th atoms of hydrogen. The molar mass is the equality that involves grams and moles. When given, the number of moles and asked for the number of grams, you must determine the molecular mass as your definition. This definition can then be used to convert between moles and grams. This example asks you to convert from grams to molecules. The first definition needed is the molecular mass. 
This will give the definition between grams and moles. Next, Avogadro's number is needed to convert between moles and molecules. The dimensional analysis is completed and the answer is checked.